lead singer of all time low, Alex Gasgarth, and one of the super producers behind the new album, Butch Walker. Give him a hand, people. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks, super man. producer. Super producer. Super singer. You're the man. No, you're the boy. <laughs> Thank you. My question here says that uh, you started off hating Blink-182. Ah, well, <clears throat> yeah, no, um, in like, it was like seventh grade, I think, when I first heard about your band, and I liked, I really liked Bob Marley and Sublime. Mm -hmm. and, like, and what, Blink doesn't sound like Bob Marley or Sublime? <laughs> well, I mean, like, Tom sometimes gets that, like, Jamaican <laughs> yeah. thing, but, uh, <laughs> No, but it was like, it was one of those things, I think I was in like choir class or something, like choir, and the kids were like, band's a bunch of sellouts. And I was like, yeah, F Blink. And, uh, and then like, and Jack came over with your DVD, our, our guitar player, for the people who don't know. And we watched the number two DVD. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this band's awesome. This is fun. And that's what got me into it. Yeah. So you, you, that converted me, that and the live CD. Now, you and I have known each other for a while, and in fact, I was in your video for Waitlist. Uh, <laughs> so you guys are in the middle of working on uh, songs for your guys' new album, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going awesome. Yeah, we finished it today. Actually. You finished it today? Yeah. And how long have you been working on the track? One day. <laughs> a really? Day. Yeah. A day. A day. A so day. is this a track that you had already written and you brought to Butch, or Butch, is this something that you wrote and you brought to Alex? Tell us the story, Alex. It was actually, it's one of those things, uh, our last album, we did two songs together. Mm -hmm. And uh, Butch and I work really well when we just kind of show up in a room and start from scratch. So this, this was, again, the same, same instance. We, were, we met up in California and uh, needed a few more songs for the record and got in the same room and just, it, it clicks. Yeah, it, clicks. it starts with like a, 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 you know, some sort of fun chorus idea. And then from there, you know, usually just build. within a, a matter of, you know, minutes. So, and, and Butch, for those that don't know, you were in Marvelous 3. You moved on. Uh, actually, you and I met when we both played a radio show. I think it was in Texas. It was in Texas. So, and I remember that day, uh, you were just doing the most ridiculous pick tricks on stage. You were playing, and then you'd like awesome. throw the pick behind your back and catch it, and then you'd <laughs> wail it off of some chick's head in the front row and catch that and continue playing. That's, you still do that, just, too. I know. It's just from awesome. years of playing in front of no one and being bored. <laughs> <laughs> like, me and my bass player would be playing for the bartender, and it was like, watch this. You, know? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> uh, you also still play your own music, but now you got into producing as well. Who all have you worked with, for um, those that don't know? Uh, uh, Pink, mm -hmm. Katy Perry, and Avril, Dashboard Confessional, Weezer. Um, Actually, you worked with uh, Blink's producer, our dear departed friend, Jerry Finn. Yeah, he, Jerry Finn was definitely <clears throat> probably one of my biggest influences, and I learned a lot. I learned almost everything I know about producing and engineering uh, from Jerry. Jerry always spoke really highly of you. In fact, he would uh, tell us stories in the studio uh, that he would challenge you to write a song as a death metal song. And he'd come back in five minutes, and you'd have like a death metal song written. And then you'd go, OK, cool. Now try that as like um, an Alanis Morissette like, uh, acoustic ballad. And then you would transpose it into something like that. Yeah, I never <laughs> laughed harder with somebody ever in the studio. And, uh, and I, would, I think I would just do that just to challenge myself, just to see if <laughs> I could do it. All Time Low and Blink-182 uh, played a lot of the same festivals together this summer. We played a lot of uh, shows over in Europe. Yeah, sorry about that. No, that was fun. But I, I, I just wanted to see if you remember the time um, you were walking up to me backstage. I was walking off the stage. And this was an area where a bunch of people could see us. And you walked up to say something to me. Meanwhile, everyone's yelling, like, Alex, Mark, Alex. And you leaned over to say something, and I knocked the drink out of your hand. <laughs> Yeah, and? That was, no, nothing. There's no question there. There's no question at all. It was just, you know, really an awesome time for me. Kids, kids. I can imagine. I remember, I remember, what was it? Like, uh, somebody, somebody came up to me after that happened. It was like someone from your crew or something. I was like, what did you do? <laughs> Everyone was like, what? And so what's next for you guys? You guys leave here, go to the studio, bang out more hits? Yeah. Yeah. Can I come in and sing? Can I do a background? Will you? Please. Yeah. You were, remember when we asked you to sing on our last record and you said no? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Did I really say no? Yeah, it was awesome. What a lame no, guy. The best part, though, like, I get it. I totally get it. It was, we wanted you to sing a low bridge. Oh, and, that's the thing, and you yeah. Were like, and you were like, I've done a lot of low bridges. Yeah, that's, that's my thing. And like, everyone calls me up and they're like, hey, will you do, like, this low part in the, the bridge? You're the low bridge guy. Yeah, I did it in, like, Simple Plan. I did it with, um... All the bands I work with are like, hey, you know, it'd be cool if you sang in this song, but you just did like a low, low bridge. It's a low bridge. No featured parts, no hook, no chorus, just a little <laughs> thing. Mark's the low bridge guy. It's cool. Yeah, if you, if you need a low bridge, I'm the dude for it. <laughs> so, well, best of luck with everything. Thank you guys so much for having me on your show. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Keep here for the new all-time low album.